Greetings to all of you, my dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you from your Pastor Yeni. I hope all of you had a wonderful weekend, especially in Southern California, where the weather is very nice, very comfortable, maybe for some people sometimes too warm, but let us be grateful for the sun, for the warmth, and for everything that she's offering us. Some people have less of this. So, blessings to all of you in a new week. We are in Psalm 130. The Lord's desire to save abundantly. Our key verse for today is, Hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is loving kindness, and with Him is abundant redemption. Those of us who were raised in a Christian environment and came to know Christ at an early age probably don't realize the depth of sin out of which God has saved us. But others have had the experience, the pain and degradation in No, it's a degradation that sin brings into their life before they cry out in despair for help and forgiveness. Some ignore the consequences of sin, choosing their own independent way of life and living contentedly a lifestyle absent of any accountability. It is only when the convicting power of God's Holy Spirit brings them to an awareness of their separation from God, that there is a willingness to turn to Him and plea for His mercy. Sooner or later, everyone needs to realize that no one has any merit or goodness to stand before God without being judged and condemned. The prevailing concept of most people is that we should have no fear of God's judgment as long as as our good deeds outweigh our bad. But God's judgment will not be on the basis of our relative's goodness. His holiness and righteousness are the standard, and no iniquity can be accepted into His presence. All of our good deeds... And worthy motives do not wipe out even a small percentage of sinful actions and the heart that is impure. So, were it not for God's grace and willingness to forgive, no one could stand before Him and hope to be justified. The realization that our hope for salvation is totally dependent on God's mercy and loving kindness and this provision in Jesus Christ is essential in motivating us to call upon Him and receive the redemption from sin He provides. Our only hope is in Him, and that hope is based on believing the truth and the reliability of what He has told us in His Word. Have you ever spent a restless and sleepless night waiting for the dawn, knowing that day would bring a different perspective and relief from anxiety? That is like the struggle of the soul when one sends his bondage to sin and comes to the conviction that Christ is the answer. Striving to come to that point of faith when God will bring peace and assurance is like a watchman in the night looking forward to the dawn when the dancers, uh, I mean dancers, excuse me, when the dangers and potential, what a difference, treat vanish with the sunlight excuse me for this using the wrong word like israel our only hope for salvation and the only possibility of standing justified on the day of judgment is in the lord just as he continually forgave israel when they transgressed his laws and lived in iniquity he forgives us for he is a loving god his nature is one of mercy and grace because his greatness desire is to give us a restored and restore us to fellowship with him. 
no matter how far we sink in the depths of sin, He not only offers salvation, but He offers it abundantly, even for those of us who are saved and find ourselves away from God in sin. We can know that God doesn't forgive grudgingly. We will not be saved by skin of our teeth, but with an abundant redemption. Pray with me. Lord, our sins must be so ugly to you and we are worthy to come before you and stand in your presence. Thank you for loving kindness, for your loving kindness that is poured out in our abundance poured out in abundance because I believe and we believe your word and you are the hope and assurance of our salvation if we fear God in the way that we understand fear sometimes we miss the ball I say it very simple fearing God is not being afraid of God, but giving Him the full respect, glory, worship, and honor. And if we come to this understanding where God gives life to us, a new life when we come to Christ, in which, in which age that all was, we will come to a closer understanding. And the more we understand His presence, the more we will understand that Fear is totally different than of the world. God relieves us from every burden because Christ brought it all on the cross. He bare it for us and he still bare it for us. The only thing that he's asking is that we live a life respectful to others, to him, in all that he gave to us. Give him the glory and the honor, my dear ones. Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. This is your pastor, Yeti. I love you guys. Bye.